The 1970s were a time of change. During these years, we saw the liberation of gender, sexuality, and sex thanks to the women's liberation movement, the invention of the birth control pill, Bertie Friedan's The Feminine Mystique, and a push from the awareness of counterculture in the 1960s. This had a huge effect on television and film at the time. We started to see things such as transgender characters, gay characters like the boys in the band, and sexualized women in the situations like Born Innocent. During this decade, we also got to see the golden age of pornography, with the movies Deep Dope being at the forefront. Even before the 70s, lots of things were allowed on television, such as live models only wearing only underwear and a bra, condom ads, and X-rated movies, causing lots of shows to start using windows in the 60s, which transferred to the 70s as well. The 70s were a completely different time. In 1975, we saw the first case of nudity on television with the PBS National Geographic special Man, the Incredible Machine. We also began to see the rise of the sex symbol on television. Shown as an attractive young female, they were usually white, blonde women in action-adventure roles that challenged traditional gender norms. Examples would be Charlie's Angels, Wonder Woman, and The Bionic Woman. In the 1970s, content shifted to more comedic sex symbols rather than action sex symbols. During these times as well, unfortunately, we would also see sexist roles in the media. In response to this was the creation of the Mary Tyler Moore show, in which wasn't about her sexuality, but her intelligence. Although sex, gender, and sexuality liberations continue to grow over time, it has not quite matched the pace that the 1970s set. Not only did it change our television, but it changed our society as a whole.